Hey, welcome back. I'm kind of in experimental mode in YouTube lately because I don't know, I'm just playing with different types of content. And today I was gonna play around with the AI tools and try and recreate myself holding a bobblehead and see how these AI, these different AI image generators perform. And I was just gonna do this for myself, just for fun on a Saturday afternoon, but then I thought, oh, let's just record it and make some content. Maybe somebody will get something out of it. So this learning experience for me, I haven't done a ton with the AI image generation tools. Today, I'm gonna use Adobe Firefly and Dolly 3 inside of ChatGPT. Here's my prompt that I'm starting with. Graphic designer in New York City, busy street, wearing a black t-shirt with a yellow R on it which is like my old uh, agency logo, on the shirt, holding a bobblehead version of himself in one hand and a black portfolio book in the other hand. And he is bald with glasses, six feet three tall and muscular, clean shaved face and a smile. Muscular, because I've been working a long, long time on my muscles. Okay, let's go into seeing how these two tools perform differently using that exact same prompt. So I'm gonna go first into Adobe Firefly. This is Adobe's text to image generation tool. And we are in here, you can, they give you a gallery when you go into the text to image section. And on the bottom here, I can type my prompt. So I'm gonna paste in that exact same prompt that I just read to you. And then here we're gonna generate an image and while it's working to generate that, I'm gonna go into Dolly 3 inside of ChatGPT and I'm gonna paste the exact same prompt. We're gonna see the difference that we get from one tool to the, the next. See which one performs better. I was playing around a little bit before I recorded this video just to see if what kind of results I was even getting, if it would be even worth making a video. And I got some interesting results. So here's the first one that we get from Adobe Firefly. This is the example, and we can choose some different settings on Adobe Firefly. As you can see here, none of these look like me, and none of them are a bobblehead. Like this is a, a bird, yellow bird. This is like some headed statue. This is the closest thing to a bobblehead. The book is not black. The t-shirt's black. It doesn't have an R on it. So we're missing a bunch of things here. So I'm gonna go in and add some prompts to this. Actually, I'll do that in a second. Before, well, let's look at what we got out of Dolly 3. Um, that's still working on that image. Let me paste that in again and see, it looks like something stalled out on that one. All right, while Dolly 3 is working on our image, I'm gonna go in and add some things to this prompt. I'm gonna say, put a yellow R on the shirt make the person a male, clean shaved face, clean shaved head, and make the glasses silver. Let's see what it does with those additions to the prompt. If we go into Dolly 3, here comes our images there. So. We got a much different result in Dolly 3 right out of the gate compared to Adobe Firefly. Here, this is our revised. This, this is the revised. So we still have some of the people, women. We don't have silver glasses. We, the bobbleheads are still not bobbleheads. We did get an R on the two shirts here. So if we go into this and I'm gonna make, add those prompts to Dolly 3, let's see. See, we've got black glasses here. The bobbleheads look okay on this. I'm gonna paste in clean shaved face, clean shaved head, make the glasses silver. And let's see what we get in try number two on Dolly 3. And on here, um, make them all men um, and make the street busier in the background. Let's see what we get on that. And let's go back to Dolly 3. It's creating our image right now. So we'll go and see. Looks like Adobe Firefly is performing a bit faster than Dolly 3 in ChatGPT. 
okay, this was my modification to make them uh, make them men and make the background busier. And now it's just messing up the R in here. So it's not doing well with some enhancements to the requests that we have here. Uh, we can go into use this style as a reference. So let's take this one um, and I'm going to click show similar. So we're going to make similar versions of this one. And in here, we are almost done on Dolly 3. Here are the ones. Okay, so now we don't have a shaved head. We have a groomed head. The R is now backwards. The book is there. Oh, the bobblehead's here in a suit. Um, make the person in the bobblehead and the main figure both be bald and smiling. And let's see what it gives us with that. And then we'll go back to Adobe Firefly. Okay, here's our reference images giving us altered versions of the same uh, image that we had here. None of these in Adobe Firefly are living up to my expectations. I can't get the prompts just out of quick tries, can't get the prompts to give me silver glasses. We lost the R on the shirt, even though it's still down here in the description. Uh, we're, we're at least all men this time, so we're trying to get a little closer to what I'm trying to capture. And let's look on here. Now here we're getting pretty close. This, not too shabby. The R is a little bit lost right here, but I'm gonna say out of these options, um, that this is the closest we get. I wish I was as good looking as this dude right here. If I take my hat off and show the bald. Um, but we definitely have a bobblehead, so that's good. We definitely have a smiling person, and we have smiling on here. Uh, make the purse street busier in the background. Let's make the person smile. Make the person smile. And let's see what we get out of that. But this is probably about as close as I'm gonna get on this. I wish my arms were as jacked as this dude right here. But hey, I can, you know, take some more supplements and see where we get in the gym. Okay, so I, I went back here to Adobe Firefly and we're back to giving us some women, some men, um, Adobe Firefly not performing very well in comparison to chat GPT-4 with Dolly 3 embedded in it. So this is the image I'm gonna say that I use and that Dolly 3 is the winner of this little contest to see which of these image generators is, is performing the best and understanding the instructions the best and, and giving us the best image as well. Every single one of these images to me is more artistic, more quality, not as weird stuff as what you see here. Like, what is this that he's holding here? And we've got a yellow book. We asked for a black book. This one, there's somebody poking out of the book. Uh, some kind of yellow, this is like headphone straps or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, Adobe Firefly, not living up to the hype. Dolly 3, the winner. This is what I look like apparently in my description of myself to Dolly 3 and Adobe Firefly. Adobe Firefly? Eh, I don't know. Anyway, hope you like this video. Try and make a version of yourself and if you get anywhere close or just post in the comments a link to your results or throw an image in, in there. I don't know if we can do images inside of comments in YouTube, but if we can, we throw it in there. If not, throw a link on, let me check out what you did in creating an image of yourself using these image generation tools. Okay. Thanks a lot. See you later.